can focus. Alright, just focus at the sky. I don't know. Focus at the road. Focus. Well, because we're moving, maybe. I don't know what to focus on. Yeah. It should just kind of focus itself yeah. at some point. You know what it is? It might be because I'm not wearing glasses. <laughs> oh, and it looks out of focus. It, it could be. Yeah. But um, today's Sunday. We're going to Clifton Jubilee, but this isn't the flea market. This is actually... It's a vintage collectible it's a craft, and craft show. Yeah. Uh, they're going to have, like, uh, I don't know. They're not going to have, like, real antiques. It's not going to be, like, the No, it, it will probably be antiques and collectibles, because she has special vendors coming. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, but she's allowing some of the flea market vendors to come as long as they only bring you know, antique collectible kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, don't be throwing things on the ground. No Funko Pops. Yeah, no uh, Funko Pops. Yeah, no. Stuff. Uh, so funny how everybody yeah. hates Funko Pops. <laughs> but they love them. Well... They hate them and they love them. It's like she just doesn't want it at her show. The show is yeah, I know. A, a specialty show. It's yeah, not, it is a specialty show. Um, I mean... Who's going to do antiques there? They are collectible, the, but... Is it that guy that... As appraisals. Maybe those pe maybe you know the people that do uh the sports cars and stuff though. Uh the Ringwood one, you know those all those people that yeah. there. Yeah, maybe. They they have special lists and stuff like that. Well, there's only eighty vendors as as what they were saying. And 50, 65 are crafters. My understanding. Well, she's got a map where everybody's setting up and everything. Mm -hmm. It's more organized. It's not like you know, first come, first serve on the spaces. So. Yeah. And we're not in our usual spot because... No. Uh, we're on the other side now, yeah. today. And we're on the grass. Because we, usually we park in the street. Yeah. And just set up on the grass. Yeah, we've been doing that. But we're not on that side today. Hey, whatever it is, I, you know. Yeah. I think probably the first thing I'll do is I'll put up the tent. And then I'll just put the tables around it. And depending, how, I don't know, like how tight they're going to keep it or whatever. Usually they, uh, you can spread out a little. I have five tables, so I, it's going to be like probably two or three across the front and one on each side or, or two across the front, one on one side, two on, I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, but, uh, you know, so I have no clue. I don't know if I'll be able to buy anything today because... I don't know if I'll, I'll want it because I know a lot of the vendors and usually the antique vendors here will have the same stuff. But I even have mostly the same stuff that I take, you know, but I'm just going to be more focused on it. And then I have some other random things. Not a lot of fresh, but all right. So we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. Don't know. Uh, I'll, sh I'll film my setup. I doubt I'll get anything good. So this might be a short video today. If anything interesting happens, I will film it though. All right, so basically the only thing that we got game-related and stuff I got today, somebody brought to us. Um, got this sweet binder of, like, nothing special, <laughs> terrible Pokemon cards, and some Yu-Gi-Oh's. But it was, uh, it was part of everything we bought. I'm not going to show you because you won't really care. Was there anything good here? Where's the, the one good one? Two or, this is the one good one? These are fake. You can tell because look how dull the, the shine on it looks. Um, this is in here, right? This is empty, right? This this is this is in there? Okay, so that's a decent one. Oh, so then these are the good ones. Nothing too special here. I don't I don't know this one. Is this better? Twenty bucks, okay, big deal. AJ was sad. No, actually, you were happy that this wasn't in here because you need the case because you have uh, the game. And then some BS game is in there. Uh, this is empty, but we can find this game. And then this stuff is nonsense. This, this, this. A uh, couple of Skylanders. Yeah. Well, we, we paid a, a friend. We gave him probably as much as, as we would give anybody for it. This Bakugan's not right? No, this is in here, but it's BS, right? Okay. Oh, that, this, the Donkey Kong's not in here either? All right. Yeah, it's a shame. Okay, that's it. Uh, I'll just show 
I didn't really get anything. I, you know what? I'm going to look harder and I'll see if I buy anything, but that's it. All right. Marie's going to show me what she got. Is this that watermelon stuff? This is Rivoli. Okay. Not watermelon, though. No. Watermelon is like pink and purple. So and it's blue. Rivoli. It has a nice old clasp. The earrings are marked Vendome. Oh, really? So Vendome. That's a good name. Yeah. And it is a set for sure. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's so funny. I'm doing tapping for focus, and I tap this. <laughs> uh, what, what can you tell me about this? That's a signed Weiss. Weiss. Yeah. Okay. And it's um, just a pale blue and emerald green. It's really nice. Not yeah. missing any stones or anything, no. right? All right. And the sign here. Mm-hmm. Got it. It's a good piece. I gotta, I gotta talk while this guy's singing. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna get a, a copyright strike. But whatever. I, they won't like end it, but they'll just like take monetization. Not that it matters. It's probably gonna get like 30 views. Um, show me the. I'll, let me take a look at the other stuff. This is this is the really good stuff that Marie bought today. That's the best stuff. This other stuff is like no big deal, but it's still nice stuff, and the prices were fine. Um, I made I forced Marie to buy this because it was only a dollar. But they're Santa earrings. Look at these. They're like super fun. There it is. Super fun. Not not old. Not anything. But hey, come on, it's Santa. Five dollars a pack. Any pack, five dollars. All right, uh, got some silver rings. weren't expensive, three or four dollars a piece. Here's another one. Get some nice macro music and whatever. Another silver ring. Um, is this the, is this a piece you like the best? That was the Alva Museum. Yeah, so this is a modern museum, whatever. Uh, our friend passed up on this one. But I was like, it's still good. Like you put it online, you get probably 30, 40, maybe a little bit. This is a nice enamel that it's This signed. is a nice one. Very nice. There you go. All right. And then a couple more rings, silver rings. There's another one. And another one. I, I'm trying to remember what I paid for this. I paid, tw I, you know what? I think I paid 20 for all the stuff there. So Marie paid 65, I guess, for... This stuff and 20 for that, 85. For 110, someone else has. I'm gonna show, there's something I bought today. Uh, it's got a wide price range. I'm probably gonna get a copyright strike on this video, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna show the stuff I put out today. This is a different show. I put out a bunch of these. I sold some Hot Wheels Matchbox. I have some records. I sold one or two. Um, this, I, this is more of a collectible show. So for me, it's a small setup. I took cassettes. This is stuff that I mostly might bring outside anyway but I didn't put my other stuff out. I didn't put DVDs, I didn't put like uh, CDs, I didn't put, here's some baseball cards, I put those on, I'm only gonna sell at least like a dollar a pack. So people like to put, uh, do these. I actually sold some of these. These are um, uh, Shopkins. Um, I sold one of those. I didn't sell any of those cards. I didn't sell any of these, one of those, that's it. Um, this stuff, let me put some jewelry out, there you can see that. They didn't have two of them, I guess? Uh, nah, I only sold one. If they had two, I would've bought two. Um, this, this is nice, it's horn, I believe. Uh, some random jewelry, a little bit of glass. I probably have another piece of Fenton, unless I sold that. Uh, not that anybody loves that. This, if it didn't have damage, would've been much better. Um, I sold some of these, two of those um, Indian pictures, Native America. Uh, and then here's some other just decorative random stuff on my table. I only have like four tables out. I didn't even put out all of them. Yeah, this is supposed to be balancing. I know somebody smacked that, messed it up. These are those cool balancing things. Big ones from the 70s can go for good money. 70s, 80s, 90s. All right, there you go. There's everything I have, minus a few things that I sold. All right, I, I don't think there's any way of avoiding a copyright strike today, so let me just finish up the stuff that I got. I bought this nice set, it's ashtray, posters. I paid five bucks. Marie says it's one of my worst buys, that uh, it's gonna be sold at the flea market. What do you think I'm gonna get for it? If you're lucky, 10 bucks. <laughs> if I'm lucky, 10. You know what? People need ashtrays. They smoke. They get high. <laughs> oh, here. Marie, I didn't show you this. This is actually pretty cool. Oh, I thought they were talking to me. All right. This is pretty cool. This is a tile. It's from, an, from Israel. Um... It says, Mr. Mr. Sad and Mr. Glad. It's a Ry Ry Ryoko original. And as you can see, 
He's sad, he's happy, he's sad, he's happy. He's very bipolar. Here, I didn't show you this. You showed me that. Oh, did you look it up? Yeah. Oh, what oh, do you did think? Did I look it up? No. No, okay. All right, so that's, I paid uh, five for the, the ashtray set, which I think is cheap. Um, the tile, it's at 60. I actually got lucky. I helped somebody. I was nice. Um, there's a guy. He's actually, this guy's pretty good. Uh, but I'm, like I said, I'm probably going to get a copyright strike from that. Um, the tile, I actually, for being nice and helping someone, I was able to, she said, take whatever you want on the table. So I said, well, the only thing I looked at was, uh, was that tile. And it says six cents. She says, just take it. Don't care. Uh, she said she had fallen and hurt herself. So I really appreciate that. Okay. Um, this is a Bischoff brandy container, but it's a time. Uh, I gotta go. Okay, be right back. All right, like I said, no escaping a copyright strike today. Guy's playing some music. He's not half bad, but I will never make any money off of this video. Never, ever, ever, because he's playing everybody. Going back to this tile, um, my friend Nick Petito, the comedian. And, and celebrity. He's been in some TV shows, uh, on some movies, stuff like that. Uh, he does impersonations. One of his impersonations is Tony Soprano. I'm gonna, he took the tile and he had an idea and he made a little Tony Soprano short. I'll, I'll include it in this video. How you doing? This is Mr. Sad. Now it's Mr. Glad. If only my life could be that simple. You know how much fucking money I gotta pay to my psychiatrist, Dr. Melfi? If only she could turn my frown upside down. There we go. Very nice. That's odd. Get, okay, getting back to this. This is a brandy container. This is like uh, Italian pottery, basically. Um, stands like this to display, lays like this, and you can use it as an ashtray. Marie told me the name of the... Uh, 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 of the uh, artist, the art pottery artist. I can't read it right now. Don't doesn't matter. I just showed it to you. Um, this is this is also signed. This is probably worth like. Let me just focus it. This is probably worth seventy-five to hundred. Um, this is also signed. There's his name. Read. Tell me what it was. Doesn't matter. All she has to do is know it. You can see it. Um, this is his work. This is probably worth about thirty-five. To 50. Um, this is. Yep, gotta go again. I'm very busy today. I'm coming. All right. Like I said, <laughs> that guy's playing music all day. All right. This is Tapio. Oh, okay. This is signed Tapio Workala. This ought to be worth 15 up. I'm getting him in focus. I don't know if I'm getting it in focus. Okay, there you go, guys. This is uh, Itala Tapio Recala Finish Glass. And Tapio Recala is the designer. Like I said, that should be worth 50 and up. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to show, Marie says this wasn't really good buy. I paid 12 for this. Uh, I think it's worth like 35 to 50 easily. Um, some have sold for less. I don't know if they sell really well. I am going to just put a stupid gnat flying in my face. This, believe it or not, is a beaver. There you go, guys. I'm holding some a, a beaver in my hand. There you go. All right. Uh, this is signed Kiana, Kiana of Alaska. It's pretty cool. All right. That's everything I got today. Some winners. This is pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. The, the uh, what is that? This is good. This one's a good piece. Uh, I can't for, for the life of me, I can't remember right now, but it's really a really good designer. And uh, some not so big deal stuff. You know what? Since I'm showing spaces, I might as well show. A, uh, well, this is my and AJ setup. So we brought some comics today. I think we just grabbed them from the store. Didn't really have a chance to price them, so I'm just telling people five and up. Uh, same with the records. We got a lot of records, so I'm just doing the same thing again. You know, sometimes I didn't have a chance to sort them. I just got back from uh, Florida. Hey, great news. I had to put a new transmission in my car. I don't even want to say how much it was. I hear voices like people are talk, calling me. Anyway, like I said, this video is probably going to be so copyright striked. 
Um, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna have like 20 different. That's not even the real groups. It's a guy singing it. And again, he's not half bad, but so anyway, a bunch of wrestlers, whatever, all bag. Uh, then we have a really good assortment of Pokemon cards, say. Uh, some from some collections. These will be available at the store. Yeah, you can have it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, sounds good. Uh, here's some more of the cards. And then we also brought games today. Yeah. Alright, here's something fun that someone picked up for us. They are bootleg AEW shirts. They're all the same. I don't know how many we got, right? But I think we're going to wear these. Okay, that's it. I'll, that's everything.